Hey, what's going on guys? Logan from ID Reptiles. Here on Wednesday, on Tuesday there's really nothing to record. There was no feeding, it was just spot cleaning and stuff like that. And I really don't want to bore you guys with that. So on Monday I touched base on some of the jeans. So I'm actually just going to do a small little filler video. It's not going to be a vlog, but explaining to those who don't understand how jeans work, I'm just going to kind of touch on them a little bit. I'm just going to explain very basically what a recessive and what a codom is. Or, yeah, confused myself for a minute, but yes, what a recessive and what a codom is. And I'm going to give some examples of them. I'm going to show some, and that's exactly what it's going to be. All right, so stay tuned for that. All right guys, so what I have created here is a whole bunch of Punnett charts showing each of the like common things that go on. This is all with single gene stuff. This isn't with any double genes yet. So here for the codominance, if something has two of the capital letters, that'll be representative of a super, like our super pastel. Then the big T, little t is a visual, kind of like our bell pastel. And then the lower lower is there is no gene present, which would be like our normals, like um, Pandora or Ma. So if you see here, this shows two normals. All of their offspring will 100% um, be normals. And then here, if you have one visual and one normal, 50% of those offspring are going to be um, visuals and the rest are gonna be normals. And then if you have one super, and you do that with a uh, normal, you're gonna have all just visuals. And then if a super bred to a super, you have a 100% chance for super. All right, so that's it for the codoms. For the recessive, it's backwards. The small t's are what you want. That's when it is visual, kind of like our pied or our xanthic. And then a big t, little t is het, when they don't show it, but they carry the gene, since it takes two doses of the gene for it to be visual, and then two big T's is it not having any. So here shows two visuals. So all their offspring will be visual, so if two pieds were to be together, they would have all pieds. And then if a visual pied is with a het pied, you'd have 50% visual pieds and 50% het pieds. And then if you continue down, if you have two hets, you'll have 25% be visual, 50% be het, and 25% wouldn't have the genes at all. So it's kind of tricky because you won't be able to tell the 50% away from that 25% up here. Unless that there is some slight difference where you're, you're kind of like, I believe that this is going to be a head. And then here shows a visual with a normal and they all come out um, het for that trait. So, so these offspring here can produce them, but not this pairing itself. Really basic, but I hoped if you didn't know that beforehand, it kind of helps you now. So you kind of understand what we're looking at or what we're talking about when we put certain pairs together and what we're kind of hoping for. So kind of like here with our black pastel hip pieds, we're actually looking at creating pandas because two black pastels, um, we're hoping for a 25% chance of a super as well as the 25% chance of vis visual. So that is a 1 in 16th chance that we'd get a panda, which is a solid white and black snake. So it's very interesting, and it's just crazy what can come out of these little guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.